Yeah, this is California night. He's been turned out here since September of last year. I castrated him and turned him out, and uh, this will be the first day of getting restarted uh, on uh, training him. Uh, he's fat and happy and healthy and ready to go. The only time we've really caught him is I've caught him a couple times to uh, uh, put front shoes on him just to make sure his feet didn't get too short. We live on shaley ground, uh, so there's a lot of rocks and breaks up their feet pretty good. So we just put front shoes on them to make sure that the, their, uh, their feet don't get too tender. As you can see, he's fat and healthy and uh, ready to get, get restarted. cinch on these thoroughbreds first time, but I just put it on my silhouettes, maybe just a little bit tough, but not, not real tough. Very, very soft, and I can I can accomplish so much more with a short. 
little shank snapple. All that's in his mouth is a snapple, but I have a little shank to it as well. I don't want to pull on my horses. Uh, I have a western uh, riding style, so I want my horses to leave me alone and I'll leave them alone. So you see, I, I've got a droop, loose rein, and I won't touch his face unless he does something that I don't want him to do, and then I'll, I'll pull on him. But I like a little bit of a shank, and I can accomplish a lot of things with that. I can accomplish his headset without pulling on him very much. Uh, and also, I can teach him to leave me alone, and I'll leave him alone. And I, I can do a lot that way. And what I'll do in my first day of riding here, I do what I call four corners. I'll jog three or four laps around this arena, eight laps around this arena, it's one mile. But I'll jog three or four laps just to get him loosened up and get him used to the arena and I'm making follow around on the fence so that uh, it's predictable uh, where we're gonna go. I'll do the jog three laps and then I'll, I'll canter four laps. And then after I canter four laps, I do what's called four corners and actually it should be called six circles. Uh, on my four corners, I'll do a small circle and then in the center of each side, I do a circle. So there's six circles uh, going in the same direction as those canter laps. I'll canter three or four laps and then I'll do my six circles and then I'll switch directions and repeat and go in the same way. And after that I'll have my horse let down and really ready to mind his own business and work. And while I'm doing those circles it'll also teach him to collect and relax and it'll teach him to give and bend and uh, we'll accomplish a lot of things. But you see, I've already got a great start. This horse already knew how to flex and bend uh, from when I broke him, uh, but uh, he's got such a great brain that it all came back to him right away. He's bumped his eye on this side, but that's far from his heart and that'll go right away. And, uh, one of his pasture mates and him probably did that. Anyway, I'll begin my four points. This to me is a really important part of retraining your thoroughbred. Uh, we're out here in the woods, just trail riding, going around and seeing some things. I got some trails back in these woods that uh, are really good for these horses just to wander around and see. And uh, There's a real good creek down here for the horses to look at. Uh, me and the kids have a little campsite set up down here and we can go uh, camping have a little campfire. I brought some more rocks down here the other day. I haven't set them up yet, but we had a campfire here the other day. And uh, the creek is right here. We're riding this creek a lot, but as you can see, this little dude, he's handling it pretty good. But we're gonna go take a walk in the creek here now and check it out. There's a little creek right here that uh, we have to cross to get to the big creek. And there's a muddy spot. Real hard to get these thoroughbreds to go through, but this guy is taking it, taking it in his stride. He's real careful with his feet. He's real nice, smart. And now we're gonna wander down here to the big creek. Here's a big old step down. Step into the big creek. Right in. 